Hello again. Uh, carrying forward with our discussion on social entrepreneurship uh, and diverting your or let us say gaining your attention towards uh, the context of society and entrepreneurship. Now, I wish to draw your attention towards that how innovation, entrepreneurship, societal elements with the perspective of sustainability are connected uh, together. Because when we talk of uh, societal development or social entrepreneurial efforts and innovation uh, with reference to the same or whatever we have discussed with reference to the definitions or the context we wish to build for our uh, world today, sustainability is a very important aspect to be catered to. Uh, it's it's a much talked about subject and uh, there are so many aspects of sustainability which are being developed and built upon uh, nowadays. Uh, but now we must try to look at all these elements together with reference to each other and in coherence to each other uh, that is sustainability, innovation and entrepreneurship. So, Briefly, uh, you know, once you go through several uh, websites or you surf around on the internet, you would appreciate that people are doing uh, a lot of things. Whole of the world is actually thinking in terms of uh, sustainability and innovation and entrepreneurship together and especially sustainability per se. And people are making uh, larger efforts people are actually focusing on uh, problems of climate change and there are so many scientific innovations, technological innovations uh, which are going on in that kind of a direction that somehow uh, if we can uh, you know make uh, our earth a better place to live, we can reduce the pollution levels. Uh, people acknowledge that uh, this process of development cannot be abruptly stopped and whole of the industrial uh, revolution which has been brought in and uh, so much which has been done up till now in terms of uh, development of industrial sector or automotives or construction and so on cannot be stopped at all. So, so this process is almost irreversible, but how to contain this process, how to bring in uh, element of sustainability of environment and other elements of sustainability infused into this process and uh, how to partially curtail this process with reference to the urgent needs and requirements of today is a major concern. So, for example, you uh, go through uh, you know uh, which, which I also was uh, uh, I also do habitually uh, uh, you know go through the uh, websites and, and uh, uh, you Google. Uh, so, uh, interesting things which came up uh, four or five which uh, I wish to reiterate here. For example, uh, an effort in film farming uh, wherein uh, no use of soil is, is being uh, going on and then just one tenth of the water. And uh, I, I remember one demonstration which exists in the city of Gwalior here. Uh, in India. Uh, the place is called Vivekanand Needham. Now, uh, uh, once I was attending a workshop wherein uh, people from Vivekanand Needham were there and they were demonstrating that how they converted a barren piece of land into a beautiful livable area for especially for elders. So, they, they got this quite uh, suitable size of barren land and uh, then they brought in many people who uh, required a place to live and stay and they started, uh, they were being supported by many uh, you know funding agencies as well as they were entrepreneurially supporting them as well and which can be called as an example of social entrepreneurship uh, also. But the, the most important thing at this uh, point of time to, to be learned about them is that how did they convert that piece of barren land into a beautiful green pasture laden with grass and thousands of trees. 
So, uh, and then uh, Gaulier does not have so much of uh, water and rains uh, that, that is a dry area that, that uh, and it is a hot area, it is part of uh, uh, India where uh, you know uh, summers are very hot. So, and general temperature is high. So, uh, now uh, they what they did was they started constructing huts or let us say uh, partial uh, um, huts or partial uh, uh, you know living areas with the help of hollow bricks which uh, have a space uh, within within two you know uh, kind of uh, or, or uh, these, these bricks uh, are hollow from inside and they capture the heat which uh, does not goes inside. And then they utilized uh, uh, let us say in, in today's terms we can say green material for uh, you know containing the temperature in summers as well as winters. So that so much so that they did, uh, did not require uh, coolers or air conditioners or these kind of things uh, for as far as living comfortably goes. Then uh, they utilized drip irrigation to support uh, as far as their tree plantation drive was going on. Uh, and for drip irrigation they collected waste plastic bottles of soft drinks and uh, water that I will talk about also. And then they cut those bottles from uh, the bottom side and uh, they hung those bottles in a reverse mode. Uh, so that uh, those bottles can drop water drop by drop at the root or wherever the water was required by the plants and, and uh, in the quantity it was required by the plants. So, this is how they utilized water very, very rationally to grow thousands and hundreds of trees and then uh, they utilized uh, the technology by uh, scientific organizations to uh, you know, eliminate uh, bacteria and uh, uh, or, or let us say uh, sorry to utilize bacteria for eliminating uh, the uh, human waste uh, and uh, extracting water from uh, whatever waste is being generated by uh, people staying there and utilizing that water for uh, several purposes other than drinking or bathing or direct use of humans. Uh, by further processing that. And uh, you see they utilized uh, several things to uh, enhance or capacitate the, their efforts uh, with lots of rationality and lots of scientific and technological innovation and uh, this, this uh, thing reminded me of uh, Vivekananda Needham wherein film farming is being utilized without soil and, and very less water. Then there is uh, an aspect of uh, cardboard packaging which I was uh, uh, watching on the internet and uh, you know that cardboard packaging they say is it, it includes directions for turning it into something new. For example, uh, once the uh, this cardboard package comes in usually we have to throw it and, and uh, or, or someone takes it away for further recycling or reprocessing that and then uh, you know it is reprocessed in uh, several terms. But uh, this is a good use if, uh, if, if someone can uh, you know uh, utilize that at home uh, by changing the use of that package and turning it into something new uh, let us say a partial table or, or let us say a corner table let us say a chair or, or for something else. So, th that, uh, that uh, website demonstrated that. And uh, then there are wood, th there was a reference to wood stoves uh, which convert waste heat into electricity for charging small devices. Uh, that was also very interesting. And then there are airborne windmills which produce 50 percent more energy. Now, this is uh, quite interesting actually. Uh, wherein uh, you see uh, the you are actually uh, have uh, having flying windmills or, or uh, you you are uh, taking windmills where uh, the uh, you know air speed is high or, or uh, you know you do not have to install windmills permanently at one single place. So, airborne windmills are now being utilized and as they say that it produces more energy. So, so, uh, so much of advancement is now being done as far as whole of this particular scenario is going on. 
Then there is carbon neutral plastic. Now, plastic has become a menace to this earth as we all understand, as we all know people have started burying plastic uh, beneath the roads to you know enhance uh, the water containing capacity of the material which is being uh, utilized so that roads have a, lo a longer life. Uh, this is a qui uh, quite a good solution which people are trying to bring in uh, as far as the plastic menace goes. But we are actually creating this uh, people say that plastic uh, people are utilizing recyclable plastic nowadays, people are degradable plastic nowadays and so on. But uh, to my understanding plastic has a very long life and it cannot be so easily converted into uh, you know uh, a perishable kind of a thing basically. So, people are working on carbon neutral plastic and then uh, I personally uh, 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 sort of uh, advocate wherein we should go for a plastic less world uh, in due course of time because, because uh, it has given us a huge advantage on one side, but uh, it has created a huge level of waste which would not uh, we would not be able to manage that kind of a waste which we have generated now. So, and e-waste uh, e waste recycling kiosks are being developed, then uh, they say that ethical smartphones are coming and, and it has to be demonstrated well which is uh, beyond the scope of this discussion and that can be fetched by uh, fetched, fetched through internet as such. So, these some, uh, some of these uh, you know kind of examples they remind uh, uh, us of uh, uh, the context of sustainability, innovation and entrepreneurship as such in coherence with each other. So, further uh, dwelling into uh, this situation, now how to look at sustainability? that is an important aspect. As I said, there are several definitions and uh, a whole lot of discussions going around that and uh, internet and text and books are full of uh, the discussions on this, but, but we have to choose uh, a way of looking at sustainability. So, uh, you see uh, a good way to look at sustainability is that for example, if uh, you uh, look at yourself and you look at uh, a particular kind of age bracket you stand in for example, if I look at myself uh, a middle aged person wherein I have uh, uh, my elders uh, whom uh, I can see growing older and uh, I have uh, youngers who are uh, actually uh, growing elder. So, uh, if I stand here and look at this situation, if I find that I would be leaving a better world or better situation for the people who are coming behind me or growing elder now and I would also satisfy uh, my elder generation that uh, the kind of world they looked for or they, the, they, they made their efforts for uh, would exist. I would not be uh, contributing in the depletion of this uh, the world they were uh, making efforts for. And if all the three generations I am referring to, uh, they are in coherence with whatever is being done and uh, you know future is secured for the generation which has yet to come. The, uh, the future security in terms of uh, greenery, in terms of water, in terms of good fresh air and several other terms, social security also. So, and, and avoidable disasters also. So, if, if uh, somehow this all this scenario is in coherence with each other, then we can say that we are talking of a sustainable uh, world and uh, we are referring to sustainability at large. So, uh, here I would refer to the example of uh, Ganges uh, and uh, fortunately I have worked with uh, an effort of government of India as I would have referred in a uh, few earlier discussions also. So, uh, now uh, you see uh, one of its kind uh, river which is associated with almost 500 million people and uh, uh, directly and indirectly as well and is uh, responsible for uh, food grain supplies and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, several other things uh, water irrigation and, and uh, several other things uh, for so many people. 
uh, and definitely in India, but, but uh, one of the rarest of its kind uh, of, of river which is connected with so many people for so many purposes at large. Now, the situation is that there is a, a pressing need for everyone to look into uh, saving Ganges because water quality is depleting sharp. Uh, there are so many aspects of uh, the flow of uh, river, there are uh, so many aspects of keeping up or let us say saving the purity of uh, as far as the water quality goes and uh, otherwise also. So, once I was uh, associated with this project and uh, we, we went to, uh, uh, to the levels of uh, origin of river Ganges, not exactly the origin place, but uh, to the levels of uh, wherein it, it uh, you know uh, comes down, uh, Gangotri is the place. Uh, so, I drove there along with my friend uh, Professor Rajat Agarwal and uh, we went there and from there we started coming downstream talking to so many people looking at the situation for ourselves and we went along the tribut tributaries also. We met hundreds of people in due course of time understanding the perspective of how do they look at this river and uh, you know, how they wish to sustain uh, and the river water for future needs and future generations, what should be done, uh, what are they doing. There were almost 110 people associated with this project across uh, 8 of the Indian Institute of Technologies, uh, you know uh, IIT sorry. So, uh, they were working on different verticals, we were working on uh, socio-cultural vertical uh, in, in during this effort. So, while we were talking to people, uh, the whole gamut of uh, you know reasons why the situation has occurred uh, that came in front of us and what can be socially at least socially and culturally uh, you know done that also came in front of us and there were uh, so many uh, technological uh, innovations which have been suggested in due course of time by the team of uh, IITs who was uh, working uh, on this project. Uh, in terms of uh, the flow of water, in terms of biodiversity and so on, uh, all these uh, suggestions and recommendations and uh, uh, processes which can be followed in due course of time and which Government of India is trying to do uh, are uh, on the website called gangapedia.in uh, where one can fetch that uh, what, what have been recommended. So, when we were talking to these people, the element of sustainability could well be understood because at uh, at this juncture, the most important point which has to be understood here is that if somehow this we, we lose Ganges or let us say it depletes to the levels wherein it becomes irreversible at that uh, at this time. It is, it is not advisable to imagine that kind of a situation uh, and, and still uh, we believe that uh, that situation would not come because so many efforts are being uh, religiously and uh, you know. Uh, emphasizingly made, but again to imagine the worst, uh, we uh, uh, tend to believe that then it will affect uh, so many aspects of sustainability which are associated with this river. It will affect the food supply, food growth, it will affect uh, you know uh, kind of uh, water supply of course, uh, which is primary in, in, uh, in the belt uh, where it flows. It will affect the green cover, it will affect the, the climate and the weather of uh, the places where through which it flows and so on. It, it will have a very large total effect hitting the sustainability from all the sides and which will have direct economic implications. So, what I am trying to say here is the one river associated with so many people is having positive effect which were I do not know if economically noticed up till now or definitely uh, an account would have been maintained, uh, but if we lose upon it, then now we have an account of that what would be losing, what uh, we would be losing in terms of sustainability and you know larger economic efforts. efforts. There were several public interest litigations being made uh, with reference to climate change, with reference to pollution, with reference to uh, you know 
irregular construction or illegal constructions or let us say uh, Ganges as I said and uh, if, if you can surf about uh, those cases which are being fought you would realize that how scientists and uh, technology people and, and everyone academia and intelligentsia they are actually looking towards sustainability and environment and the perspective. There are uh, so many references to uh, now people say avoidable disasters for example, uh, Chennai floods and uh, uh, Kedarnath floods uh, uh, which had uh, because I belong to this area uh, I could see the after effects of those floods uh, I had this opportunity of visiting Kedarnath shrine after it was reconstructed and uh, I could realize that what kind of a devastation those floods brought in uh, and, and how many peoples not only lost their lives, but uh, lost, their, uh, lost their livelihood and households and people who remain uh, they have lost many things which have to be brought back to them and so on. So, you know now, now we reach to a situation wherein we say that let us choose the area or areas to be addressed for uh, you know looking at sustainability innovation and entrepreneurship together. As I said in our last discussion also that definitely those areas primarily can be for water as, as this demonstration of few minutes uh, suggests that if we can uh, think in terms of uh, innovation with reference to entrepreneurship and definitely sustainability with uh, in, in context to Ganges there are so many things which can be done. There are, there are uh, so many aspects which can be introduced uh, in, uh, through so many verticals. One can think in terms of big, uh, bringing technological solution for uh, generating electricity without hindering the flow of water uh, for example. Uh, one can think in terms of uh, uh, usage of science and technology and culture and societal aspects also as, as uh, you know the definition also said uh, says uh, and, and we had that in last discussion that uh, how to contain or let us say how to manage the waste of the cities besides the river. So, that uh, those uh, that waste is not to be discharged in the river and, and uh, it is again a very very big question which has to be addressed. So, one part is that and uh, then there are several other aspects of uh, you know uh, less and rational utilization of water for agriculture because this uh, belt uh, is associated with agriculture. Then uh, there is an aspect of uh, you know curtailing or containing the construction which is going on or which has gone through uh, besides the river. Then uh, there is an aspect of uh, you know kind of improving uh, not only the bio biodiversity of the river, but uh, the river bed and uh, let us say uh, the area uh, besides the river with the help of further plantation of trees and monitoring the growth of the trees. And today we have we have so much uh, which can be done we have we have drones to monitor the uh, plantation and vegetation on one side and then we have people who are deeply associated with the subject. And I remember one effort which was being done by uh, a big organization uh, called Shanti Kunj in Haridwar which uh, actually uh, went uh, 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 you know for a very large drive for cleaning Narmada and that was a commendable effort which they did. I have seen those uh, films and videos and uh, the demonstration given to us by those uh, people who were involved there and uh, I, I defini uh, definitely uh, you know applaud those uh, efforts which were being made by them. So, and, and if those efforts can be associated with technological innovation which have been we have been referring to up till now and then th those can be entrepreneurially associated with the beneficiaries and the people uh, staying besides the river and, and uh, so many other people who are interested in such kind of efforts and the youth who is actually learning technology with the perspective of utilization of that technology. Uh, for societal development if, if everything can be associated together then this picture would uh, become more beautiful and more meaningful. So, uh, that is uh, we have to ponder upon that uh, you know uh, how sustainability and innovation and entrepreneurship would meet uh, each other. And, uh, the, the answer if you uh, take a key word from my side the answer to this is that uh, let us think big, let us think for the long term, 
let us not think in terms of uh, gaining immediate profits and benefits. Let us think of building everything bit by bit and piece by piece and uh, you know uh, associating everyone to a particular cause wherein everyone can uh, live happily. So, let us think in terms of uh, opulence, let us think in terms of prosperity and associate all the businesses, all the efforts and all the marketing acumen, all the technological acumen for uh, making this uh, world a better place. Thank you.